welcome to The Drama on Stage 9. Tonight, the death of Osama bin Laden and what it means for the future of Al-Qaeda. Our panel tonight, James Brown from the Lowy Institute for International Policy, John Barron from ABC News Radio, and in Melbourne, Peter Khalil from the University of Sydney's Centre for International Security Studies. Well, it's taken nearly 10 years, but the United States has finally tracked down and killed the most wanted man in the world, Osama bin Laden. The Al-Qaeda chief, along with his son and two others, were killed in a firefight with American forces at Abbottabad in Pakistan. US President Barack Obama announced the news to a surprise White House media conference. I determined that we had enough intelligence to take action and authorized an operation to get Osama bin Laden and bring him to justice. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. For over two decades, bin Laden has been al-Qaeda's leader and symbol and has continued to plot attacks against our country and our friends and allies. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's efforts.